Dear modelers, in this air and ground video premiere it's all about the auxiliary fuel tank of a Focke-Wulf 190. This aircraft will be featured in the upcoming video series all in 4K. Subscribe and don't miss any updates. A big big welcome to my new channel and the first video. This is Leon from Air and Ground in Scale and today we'll finish this auxiliary fuel tank of the Focke Wolf 190 1 to 48 scale from Edward, which will be featured in the upcoming series on this channel. Please bear with me if the subject is a little bit out of the picture or out of focus. I have to practice to get some good shots, but anyway, let's start. After priming the fuel tank with Mr. Surfacer 1500 in black, thinned about 50-50 with Mr. Leveling Thinner, I started giving it some color structure. I used my Harder and Steenbeck Infinity with a 0.15 needle and thinned down some RLM76 from Mr. Paint with its Leveling Thinner. The consistency is about like ink. As you can see I did some random lines and points. You can play with the density of these patterns to get a different result. Don't mind if you get some splatters and it doesn't look clean. Then you can start to fill the panels, still in a random fashion. You can mix some denser color with a consistency like milk to cover the surface, but don't cover the nice structures you made before. I would have used gloves, but because of the nasty virus, there weren't any left at the groceries. So please ignore the bare fingers. The Mr. Paint color gives a nice satin finish, but for decals I'm used to get a high gloss finish because I have always problems with silvering. So I used the first time AK's Intermediate Gozy Agent. I didn't thin it down, sprayed directly from the bottle. I was very happy with the result and started directly with the nice decals from Edward. 
cutting them out with a sharp blade, then soaking them in lukewarm tap water. If I have to apply more decals, I use a USB mug warmer to keep the water warm. You'll see it in the other videos if you subscribe. I only used MIG decal softener to apply the decal. The decal softener started to attack the glossy surface, so I just used it over the decal itself. After the decals had dried, I shot a second round of the intermediate gauzy, so the decals are protected and the borders of them are covered. first time I used Tamiya's panel line accent color in dark brown. It is easy to use, but next time I'll thin it down a bit. After drying, I wiped the excess away with a cotton bud and some odorless thinner from the uptake.
AK's Ultra Matte Varnish does a good job, so I used it straight from the bottle, on the spinner and on the tank. Because of the Covid situation, I had to wait for these nice Prismacolor pencils for several weeks. But it was worth to wait. I saw them in a video by Maestro Daniel Zamarbide, a great artist. The pencils are very easy to use and the color of the scratches are very subtle. They are hard to catch with the camera. I think they wouldn't work on a glossy surface. I love doing some fuel stains with this AK product. With a brush size 3 to 0, I started to paint some spills around the fuel cap. After it dried, I painted a second layer. I love the difference between the glossy fuel spills and the matte plain surface. The last step is to attach the auxiliary fuel tank to the plane with regular glue. I really hope the video gave you some inspiration, motivation and perhaps you even enjoyed it. As you see the Focke 190 is almost finished and I'll post the whole video series on my channel. So please subscribe to Air and Ground in Scale and leave a comment. Best regards, Leon.